We can also export for Flash. So, with the composition selected, go under File, Export, and choose Adobe Flash Player, that's a Swift, or the XFL. If you choose XFL, then a new panel opens up, and you can export it as an FLV or even as a ping sequence. You can choose the properties of the file by clicking in here where it says Format Options. And there you go. You can choose one of the presets, or you can create your own. Your webmaster should be able to tell you which settings are best. I just want you to remember that the video codec of Sorenson Spark does not support the alpha channel. So if you have any kind of transparency in your video that you need to preserve, please choose the Onto VP6 codec. Let's go ahead and click Cancel out of this and Cancel out of this, because I'd like to show you how to export a Swift file. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. All of these settings are good. Uh, actually, let's create a preset for a web banner. Yeah, why not? And let's call it text. 15 frames per second is good. A duration of maybe 15 seconds. So just 15, 0, 0. And that's good. Let's go ahead and type some text. And let's position it. Let's double click on the T here and maybe make it a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and switch tools to the selection tool. The shortcut for it is the letter V. Expand the text layer and let's add an animator for position. Let's go ahead and globally change the position so that it moves all the way to the left. Expand the range selector and keyframe the end parameter. Move in time to about two seconds and change the value of end so that it reads zero. And let's go ahead and end the composition there. Letter N, right click on the work area bar and choose Trim Comp to work area. With this composition active or selected, go under File. Export, Adobe Flash Player, or Swift. And let's go ahead and save it onto the Chapter 13 folder. And Text Swift is good. Click on Save. And a new panel opens up. Basically, if there is something that needs to be rasterized, you can set the quality of the JPEG that will be created. You can also decide if you want to export audio or not. All these settings are good, so just go ahead and click OK, and it exports, and that's it. Let's go ahead and switch to Flash. It's Alt-Tab or Command-Tab if you already have it open, and there it is. All we need to do now is go File, Import, Import to Stage, and navigate to your desktop, to the Project Files folder, Chapter 13, and there it is, text.swift, and choose Open. Go ahead and preview this, that is Control or Command Enter, and there it is, a quick and easy text animation that is a flash file. It has been my pleasure taking you on this journey through the essentials of After Effects CS4. I hope to see you again soon. We've only scratched the surface of this very powerful application, so please visit TotalTraining.com for other titles that will help you on your motion graphics voyage. I'm Luisa Winters, and I thank you for watching. I wish you the best. Goodbye.